Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, whatever time it is that you're watching this video. Thanks for joining me for another Penboy Roy Fountain Pen Review Channel video, you inky savages. I hope you're doing well. Today is just a quick unboxing of this new pen here that I got. This is courtesy of my good friend Ron over at penshallot.com and Yaffa Brands. This is the Conklin Endura Abalone Shell. So I got this in the mail and I'm really excited about it because I actually like abalone shell. It's a really nice look. It's used in jewelry inlays and all kinds of other products. So let's just take a look at the boxing. This is the outer sleeve. The outer sleeve is your standard Conklin pen. If you're familiar with Conklin pens, this is not really anything new to you. Check out this sticker. This is the serial number. This is 1534 of 1898. So it's a limited edition. 1898 represents the year that good old Roy Conklin established the Conklin brand. I like his first name. So we're gonna slide this off. We slide that off and we have the interior clamshell box. Now the interior clamshell box is like a pretend leather. It has some stitching. It has the logo on the top. It reads the legendary name for fine writing instruments and it's trademarked. Take a look at that stitching all around. So it's a navy blue with yellow stitching. You open up this box like so, and it's nothing surprising. You have your pen sitting on top of a bedding. You get these two cards. One card is basically instructions in the event that you've never used a fountain pen. You got your converter instructions and cartridge instructions. That's considered to them. They congratulate you, which is very nice. Thank you. And also you have this here. This fold out card is your Conklin International Limited Warranty. Let me just paraphrase this whole thing for you in a nutshell. There's some information on their contact. These pens are all guaranteed for life. You have your, oh, I just realized this was here. So you have also this here. Oh, this is information on the Endura Abalone Shell Limited Edition. There's a lot of literature there. I'm gonna, you guys can pause it and read it yourself if you want, but I'm not gonna spend the whole time reading it. And here's some more information on the brand history. You got your pen. This is a very nice pen. Look at all that opulent abalone. The abalone is so opulent here. It's got rose gold trim. You got your number six sized Yovo nib. This one is a bold. And you have your chibi plastic feed, concave section. As usual, the brand includes a converter. This one is a screw in converter made by Schmidt. You have your end, end cap, and this is threaded, so there you have it. Let's look at the lining. It does not line up with the top of the nib. Let's see what happens if I, okay, so it threads a total of three times. So there's three different threads, so it could align three different ways. We'll have to talk about that in the review that I intend on doing. It has the, this is not a rocker clip, so this is just a tension fix clip. Okay, so that's the pen. It's opulent with its abalone shell. It's pretty sturdy solid. Let's look underneath the secret compartment. Usually, okay, look. Usually they just have the two ink cartridges. You have one in blue and one in black. In this case, there's a printout I've never actually seen before. Let's see what this is. Okay, so it's just, it's a, it's a big one, it's like a map. Okay, so they have a whole bunch of other products on this. Not too shabby. Let's see what's on the other side. And more history. And hey, look, look at that, a picture of Roy Conklin. No, I'm sorry, a picture of Mark Twain. And information on the Crescent Filler, even though we didn't buy the Crescent Filler. And there's some vintage stuff there. Okay, I actually, I really do appreciate that. I, I appreciate as much information as they're willing to give me. So that's the unboxing of the Conklin Endura Abalone. Now these are actually harder to get than you think because they're selling out really quickly. Beautiful, very opulent. Some people don't like the opulence, I, I do. Now, one other thing that I actually mentioned on my podcast a lot, if you look at this pen, and this is really interesting, it looks like it's a faceted pen, right? But when you actually hold it in your hand, it's actually a perfect cylinder. It's smooth all around. I find that interesting. Well, that was the unboxing for 
the Conklin Endura Abalone. I hope you found it helpful. Thanks again for watching. Love you guys. Be well, be safe.